Hi, I'm Bill Mockestead, chair of the Al Sears Jazz Festival, and I'd like to tell you about this year's festival, right here in Macomb, the weekend of September 28th through the 30th. Not only will we have lots of fantastic music, but great art, food, and fun as well. It all starts with a very special one-hour program at the Western Illinois Museum at 4 o'clock on Friday, September 28th, with a musical and historical retrospective on Macomb's favorite jazz son, Al Sears. We'll have the opportunity to learn more about the festival's namesake, including why he's been honored by such people as Phil Schaff, legendary dean of jazz DJs in New York City, and even Terry Stewart, president of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Plus, as a very special treat, Macomb High School's Jazz Voices, directed by Melanie Butcher, will be making their very first appearance at the Al Sears Jazz Festival. Right afterward, the fun will continue right down the block at Shiloh's Bar and Bistro with live jazz from 5 o'clock on into the night, featuring the Michael Kennedy Jr. Trio, followed by the crowd-pleasing Sally Weisenberg and her trio. Then, on Saturday, there'll be live jazz outdoors from 10 to 5, downtown in Chandler Park, right alongside the Gazebo Art Festival. Just listen to this lineup. The Dixie Daredevils is one of the Heartland's very best and most exciting traditional jazz bands and a favorite of audiences everywhere. The Daredevils leader, Johnny Slew, promises an unforgettable show featuring the fantastic vocalist he's bringing along, Billy Rogers. The Joel Moore Quartet, fresh from a recent critically acclaimed engagement at Chicago's world-famous Jazz Showcase are purveyors of a passionate blend of jazz, rhythm, and blues that will please music lovers of all kinds. And as a special treat, Joel is bringing along a fellow WIU alum, Kimberly Wilson, who will be making her second appearance at Al Sears and will again enthrall with a voice as comfortable singing rhythm and blues or gospel as it is jazz. Macomb's own Ann Collins will be leading her own all-star trio, featuring the virtuoso bassist Joe Vick and the peerless drummer Dave Rogers. Anyone who's heard Ann's CDs knows that great jazz will be created anytime these three get together. And Ann's trio will be joined by the fine saxophonist Keith DeSantis, who's traveling all the way from Texas to join the fireworks. Finally, the Western Illinois University Jazz Studio Orchestra, featuring special guest soloist and WIU music alum Stephen Hawk, will close the afternoon portion of the festival. The JSO, directed by Dr. John Cooper, is on a roll, coming off a highly successful tour last spring and a memorable performance at Carnegie Hall the year before. So their concert in the park will not be something to be missed. And we're just getting started. At 7.30 Saturday night in the Kofak Recital Hall on the WIU campus, the Bureau of Cultural Affairs is hosting renowned composer, musician, conductor, and arranger Wycliffe Gordon. Listen to what one writer has to say about Gordon, who along with leading his own groups has performed with such jazz luminaries as Wynton Marsalis and the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra. Quote, Gordon is having an extraordinary career touring the world, performing hard-swinging, straight-ahead jazz, and receiving great acclaim from audiences and critics alike. His mastery of the plunger mute and his prestigious technique and signature sound have assured him a place in musical history as one of the top trombonists of his generation." Unquote. Believe me, you won't want to miss one of the world's great jazz musicians right here in our own backyard. Be sure to check with the Bureau of Cultural Affairs at WIU to learn how to reserve your tickets. And it's still not over. On Sunday, we'll be right back at Shiloh's with a scrumptious jazz brunch, featuring more good time music by the Dixie Daredevils. Be sure to call Shiloh's to make your reservations early for one of the two seatings. Okay, you know what you have to do. Save the dates, September 28th to 30th, for the 11th annual Al Sears Jazz Festival right here in Macomb, Illinois. See you then.